but still a very good run. And we're back. Cutscene time. Yeah. yeah. Once again in the uh, the very skippable location of Ninja Village. Mm. Well, yeah. So obviously, you know, uh, <laughs> there were a couple of uh, uh, of particularly costly mistakes for Space Croquette in that last run. But honestly, those aside, uh, pretty much everywhere else, that was a fantastic run. Mm -hmm. Like, on one hand, that feels like a, a like, I, I think, might feel like a, a, like, warped way to look at it. But honestly, when you're playing that well, and you know that the types of mistakes that cost that run are the type of thing that you're pet mistake you're not normally going to make. You know, you can go into this second race with I think a fair amount of confidence knowing that if you can just cut out those one or two things not dying then you're right there. Because that yeah. was honestly a fantastic run. And then, you know, for Cat having a PB pace run with the exception of the one death like, both of these runners are in a really good spot. Yeah, absolutely. Really interesting to see how much of uh, how much of that pace carries into the uh, second race here. Yeah, both of them getting one shard, so we're staying pretty even. I think Cat is uh, 0 .04 seconds ahead after Ninja Village. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, okay. Strongest Kappa has been defeated. We're good. Another thing to remember, too, on um, on uh, Croquette's behalf, it, it can be really tough to keep going after a death like that. So, huge props to be able to put together a really good run after the fact. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Croquette gaining the lead, not having yeah. to go to the wall. RNG being a little bit more favorable. Another uh, another pair of fairly cute shots. Mm -hmm. And we'll see here because you know, we're coming up on the uh, first room where the run started to diverge last time. We'll see, especially oh. fortunately oh. left side again. Woo. Oh god, okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> so the unfortunate bonk back into the pit actually makes this pretty even, despite yeah, that, a right and left boost. Yeah, that pretty much evens the playing field right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's the sink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let that sink in. Yeah, no, and I think uh, timers. I think the either I'm blind or the timers are also synced, so they really are just right there. Yeah. Ooh, cat might get the cycle again. She got it in the first day, so let's see. Oh, not quite, Ooh, not, quite. not quite. Still close. All right, lifeguard. See... Yeah. Okay. Right. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. Nice, the jump into the pit and the T-boost makes for a clean uh, spike tower, and of course, Croquette getting it. <laughs> we love a good sink. Yeah, I, I think... Has... I have a feeling we're going to be synced shards. here for a... Uh... Oh, okay, well, never mind. I'm just going to stop talking, because... <laughs> obviously, I'm cursing it. Okay, I think I cost Cat a 31.59 or whatever in the first race by saying... <laughs> something, something about Golem, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're allowed one commentator's curse. <laughs> one each, I, no more. Yeah, pa past that, then we are taking fall. Oh, this room! Oh, good recovery. Alright, there we go. This is the worst room in the game. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, despite what you may think, you are actually watching the same stream on both runners for a little bit there. They've got their own individual feeds up now, but throughout the water room and such, they were the exact same gameplay feed. You probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Kit is rich here again. Yeah, actually they both are. They're both yeah. pretty well off. Oh, I was hoping I was hoping Kurokat would get the drop so he'd be at 150 on the dot. That would have been nice. And I'm pretty sure it was just crazy, <laughs> crazy drop RNG again. Well, Croquette had to take the swing. Yeah. But other Croquette than that, I don't think there was anything else. Yeah, like with the swing, I think a, a shark count up there actually isn't that crazy. But without the without the swing shards, uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of a lot. Yeah. So that looks like a three or so second difference. Croquette had a 555 on him, which is yeah, quite yeah. nice. Uh, let's see, we'll see, we'll see if either, either runner commits to going for the crystal. New route, new route. <laughs> More shards, more shards, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no checkpoint oh. skip. Obviously, that one frame will be the decider. Yep, 100%. And, of course, yep. I can't watch this part. Ah, uh, uh, awful, awful. No class. The war crime. Okay, good cycle though, good cycle, and... Cycle okay, yeah, Cat taking a little pause, which is totally understandable, because that platform is scary. Yeah. Let's see how the gauntlet treats both of them. Oh, no shurikens, okay. That was essentially the same gauntlet, except with a shuriken. Yeah. <laughs> Though, you know, obviously the inclusion of the shark can make it superior. Of course, of course. Alright, we get another chance at, uh, the, at the Crusher Clip. Let's see, let's see if, uh, second time's the charm. Hard, man. Oh, yeah. Like I've I've practiced it a little bit, and like, not that seriously, because through that clip, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you already have to reset enough in your runs. Why well, add an insta death to catacombs? Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, oh, so darn. Well, why add an additional potential insta death in catacombs? Yeah, true. Already have to spend enough time in the new village. Exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Cat actually intentionally threw the race just so she could get another chance at the Crusher Clip. Mm, true, true, true. Ooh, nice room for Croquette there. <laughs> I'm gonna get around those extra Ooh. fireballs. <laughs> it's kind of is a little bit scary, especially when you wanna, you need that extra help. Oh. Okay. Ah, there Ooh. we go. That was scary again, but nice bedog for Croquette again. Yeah. Gets the uh, gets the lantern twice. Very good stuff. So that of course is going to give him a bit of a lead over Cat. Or sorry, I think yeah he was ahead. Sorry. So widen the lead a little bit. Yeah, widen it a little bit. Here. But we have a certain friend who could instantly delete that. Oh, bit of troubles with the monster vader too. This this room can. Really sap a lot of time. Yeah, it, honestly, that room is kind of a pain to back out of, to, to back up sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get your stuff or lose more time than you'd think. Honestly, God, that was really, really good catacombs. 
Yeah. For uh, for Space Croquette, with the exception of the Monster Vader. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Croquette looks like about five seconds ahead going into Ruxton. Okay. Uh, one high. Let's see if he's nice. Oh, oh unfortunate. Ruxton playing favorites. I see how it is. That's fine. I, Ruxton wants to see uh, the, the Crusher clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I 100% respect what Cat just did there, jumping over the first fireball to make sure you get a good slash jump. I I do that a lot if I don't get that, over there quick enough. Yeah, that that uh, it, if you get hit by that first projectile, that <laughs> that is that that can make uh that that low fight go sideways just really bad. Oh, Cat unfortunately clipping out of bounds. Very unfortunate. Gaining so much time there, so that'll probably be DQ, haha. <laughs> I think actually she did that on the first one. Yeah, 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 she yeah, did. yeah, I just yeah. forgot to mention it on the first one. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like I, uh, I, I, I looked away for like a fraction of a second, and then all of a sudden Cat was on top of that platform, and I'm like, wait, did I miss her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, if only, if if only I could time up the bamboo song. But yeah, as I was gonna, gonna say, unfortunately we don't have we don't have the sound, so we can't. Uh, I, I guess we could guess, but I, with, I'm not with Discord delay. That. Yeah, I, I think it's like around one of the lanterns, but with Discord delay, I don't know if that would be accurate or not. Uh, obviously, I'm just gonna have to put in the study work, figure out. The yeah, true, true, true get it every time from here on out. I'll study the VODs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, BC11. Here. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. We love a good clean BC11. Let's see. Let's see how it goes for Cat. Uh... We get a G2? Okay. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Much yeah, better. I've, yeah, I've started doing that strat in, in all my runs. Since since coming back to the game, I cannot get consistent at R2 or regular N2 or anything. So I'll just take the quickest quote-unquote backup and just do it in my runs. The time difference isn't that big. Yeah, exactly. C considering the, the... Mostly when you consider the time loss... If you miss any of the uh, yeah the N two variants, yeah, it's like if I can get one of the variants. Oh, unfortunately, having to take the waterfall for a sec there. But it's like uh, the way I see it is, if I don't get any of the variants nine times out of ten, it's not worth going for. No. Honestly, even if it's fifty fifty, I don't think it's worth going for. Yeah. Like you, you've got to get pretty consistent. Uh, uh, like, you either have to get really consistent, or you have to get really consistent at backing up out of it. Yep. Otherwise, it's I just don't think it's worth it. But even then, it's still slower to back up than it would be to just straight up go for a backup, you know? Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay, so Cat about 16 seconds behind. I think. Uh, Croquette left the shop at 13.15. Cat was about 13.31. Obviously, it's it's early, you know, a lot, a lot can happen, but, uh, Space Rocket's on a bit of a run here so far. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's see, let's see what happens here. Let's, let's, uh, I don't want to say anything, I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I like how we were ranting about BC-11 well into <laughs> Grotto. Fuck, BC-11. What can I say? Oh, oh my goodness! You got the 2 HP though, so... Good DK. It's a terrifying DK skip, but it's a DK skip nonetheless. Oh, Cat. Okay, see. A, potentially a blessing in disguise for Cat. She bonks her head on the on the corner, so now there's no hope with uh, DK skip, so no going for it. No dying to it. I can't believe Space Croquette went for that. That was, yeah. <laughs> that was, that was so sketch. Uh, that is 
<laughs> yeah, Space Croquet has all of my respect. Oh man, that was terrifying. I, I'm I'm not sure how much closer that could that could have been. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think there may have been like a pixel two of, of yeah, that, leeway, that was, but that was pixels from death. Yeah. <laughs> no god yeet, unfortunate. Yeah, really nice grotto for croquet. Really? Like really? that's such a <laughs> such a ballsy thing to go for, especially after how the last run went. Yeah, yeah. Like this is like, all right, I could not go and lose two seconds, <laughs> or or I could go for this extremely close <laughs> jump and maybe save the two seconds, or miss it and lose a minute or whatever it is. Oh, unfortunate in the wizard room for cat. That wizard teleport. What in the world? Yeah, they oh. both they both blocked it. That was so rude. Doing their best Gandalf impression, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grotto. Yeah, I respect this for Croquette. Keep the HP. Safe second phase. No monkey steer. Oh no. Okay, actually, I changed I my mind. There might I be think a bit of monkey steer phase. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so now Cat actually. Yeah, and then you can just, yeah, hit, just do the eighth hit. You may as yeah. well save the shuriken for the last phase. Potentially so oh, many, uh, so some uh so close. Oh, how many hits was that? Three. Oh jeez. Still almost had it, yeah. But yeah, that, that gives Cat Ooh, nice little left kill. That was really good. That was a really good second phase. Let's see. Yep, good stuff. Right, yeah, good Not the best pattern, cat. but that's probably as good of a fight as you can get with a top right pattern. So good stuff, cat. Let's see, I'm watching the timer here. Yeah, that's gonna bring them I, a bit closer. I, I think, well, but I, especially watching the pace, I, I think. Yeah, Croquette's still ahead. Of their okay, PB. Let's see. Even Basically, with that 17, fight. 20. Ooh. 17, 20, 17, 29. Okay, yeah, so about a 9 second difference. Or about a 10 second difference, rather. Yeah, so this is, this is getting real tight going into Quilt Room. Yep, yep. Fortunately, Croquette played that really well because of the, uh, the unfortunate. Ooh. Unfortunate bonk there at the start, so yeah, and that now cycle's yeah. gonna be a bit sketchy. Yeah, now you gotta worry about the cycle, not not just the vacuum, which messes it up enough, but the bonk yeah. on top of it. Yeah, true, true, because it's gonna be one health. You gotta deal with a flying bird after after a bonk, maybe. So, but both runners yet again in the same room. Yep, yeah, respect, respect. Yeah. Stay alive. Yep, on a on a PB pace, you cut out a, a couple of seconds of waiting to make sure you don't die. Good run for Cat. Good stuff. There, there's time Cat's making up. Closestream is mostly a hold right stage, but there's still some terrifying rooms. See, even though, uh, even after, uh, even after that right room, it's still about nine seconds of difference. So far. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Both both of them actually had to take a kick in that same room. Leaf cutter. Uh, oh, unfortunate. Oh, but a nice backup. Ooh, that and was then she gets to keep really the nice shuriken backup. for this room. I like that, actually. I I've been considering learning that, cr trying to learn that crazy strat just to keep the shuriken in uh, this room. Just because I hate that last switch up at the end. I'm so bad at it. Good bully room. And... Oh! 
Oh my god, Cat, you're so good. You're so good at this game. That, that was so that, sick. That one hit is so hard. That was so sick. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep, I, I, I respect the weight. Yep. Oh my. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cat actually got the left face of Kappa. Uh, cause she was a bit too close to the wall, but she still snuck through. Then but then an unfortunate... The, uh, peanut butter too. Yeah, yeah. She was a bit too close to the wall, I think, when she was looking at Wingsuit, so... She got a kick him instead. But to be fair, she got that one-hit balloon, so... I think for cool points alone, we have to deduct... Ooh... Coquette missing a few hits. This could get sketchy. This, yeah, this could be whips again. Uh, yeah, whips. Oh, yeah, that's whips again. So if Cat can pull this fight off, it's even more time to make up. And she's got a lot of damage because she went up to the high hooks. Let's see. Oh, whips for Cat too. Oh, Ew. unfortunate. Double whip. The, um, Very unfortunate. The no damage boost. The jumping over the quills, I think, uh, coming back to haunt Cat a little bit. Yeah. It is safer, but... It is less damage, so. Unfortunate. Yep. Oh, I didn't quite see the load time. Shop it's time. about 15 seconds of difference. Okay. Yeah. This is still quite the close race. Yep. That can be made up in one Colos and Susus fight. Or, you know. Any of the multitude of things that can go wrong in crags. Yep. Ooh, okay, see, Croquette taking a bonk here. Can be a little sketchy to go through this with three health, especially if you go for the poop slide. Ah. Oh. Objectively the correct decision. Nope. <laughs> Poopa slide is way cooler. See, Cat's got the HP. She could do it. Oh. Well, see, now I don't want either of them to win. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's mean. That's mean. All right, good start. Good start for both of them. Oh, I didn't say anything. That wasn't a commentator's curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not. Honestly, so with the, with the exception of like a little bit of a spaghetti at the beginning, Croquette's kind of tearing through crags. Yeah. Ooh, oh, so God. close to getting that. Dude, we both need to shut <laughs> We didn't stop. We didn't stop. All right, all right. We're signing off. We're signing off. Goodbye. <laughs> the rest of this race is, re races are being done in silence. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, someone, someone <laughs> with less bad luck tag in. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Let's wait until they're not doing anything to say stuff. <laughs> there are we things happening. Yeah, we can only talk during loads. They are definitely playing the messenger. I think we could say that. <laughs> Alright, fortunately, that, uh, the tall room got a little sideways there. Fortunately, the, uh, <laughs> Bert bailed Space Croquette out. Oh, this room is a pain. Alright, ooh, oh, ooh, we got a boulder. Let's see if it hits. Ooh, no hit. Okay, damage might be a little sketchy here, but he did throw the shuriken, so. Uh, no ear smoke. Yeah. Let's see what Cat the gets. Is there. Cat gets a Colos tag out. Okay, team attack. Right. Croquet can get the damage on Sussus if he doesn't have it. Ooh, and a ball for what? Cat. Get down I from there! <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh! It- Oh, okay, so- Oh, yeah! Croquette didn't kill Sussus. Didn't but I think get the damage from the team attack Is yet. this a team attack? Okay, no, no, no. But... Okay, 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 okay. okay. I was, I, oh, I, wait, can I, that- I, can, can that cause a soft lock? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, because he- If he lands up there, he'll walk up there. But then oh, he can also no. charge. He can just oh. charge off the screen. <laughs> That's, uh, that's horrifying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, bit of a, bit of a, bit of a sketchy fight for both. I think that was 33 load for Croquette. And... 
Yeah, cats, cats cut it down to, to 10 foot. seconds here. Yeah. Yep, get all so, our pieces in chat. Oh, yeah, I need to remember this stuff. Yay. Yeah, so I mean, any number of deaths could cause an even up, or just a really clean glacial and a spaghetti glacial, or, you know, something crazy going on in the tower. This race is nowhere near over. No. That was... Okay, that was a really good recovery in that tall room. For, uh, oh. Space Cat. Unfortunate spike bonk, but... I think things will be... Okay, uh, you know what? Things are happening. I don't want to say anything. Cursed room. <laughs> Screw that room. Yeah. Honestly. Let's see. Oh, okay. You know what? I respect the hell out of this. Oh, and it's still cursed. This room is oh. still cursed. Oh my goodness. I hate this room. <laughs> I don't think... I have watched almost every single race so far. I don't think I've seen this number of curses from commentary so far. Yeah. Uh, this, this, is, this is not allowed to happen. <laughs> so sorry to both runners. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, that, that TP makes me irrationally happy. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, teleports are the best trick in the game. Changed my mind. <laughs> no. Ah, see, that's fine, too. Because, you know, messing up that teleport leads to death. Because you drop through a platform, and it's very fun. Yeah, true. Yeah, if, if you're not if you're not ready with the uh, with the cloud step after uh, after messing up that teleport, you just die. Yep. Yeah, very nice, very nice stage from both runners. I think Cat is about I can do math, sixteen seconds behind. So I think three seconds or so lost on on that glacial over over Croquet. But again. Tower time. Yeah. I think 16 seconds is at the point where pretty much any death can cause a change in in position because of the Corbel cutscene. So like even in the Levy special room where that's where that is a quick death, it's still uh it still it, takes a while to get through Corbel and stuff like that. Ooh, that yeah, checkpoint skip. Everything. Oh okay, not go for Hail Mary. That, yeah. that's fair. You don't need the checkpoint then. Makes sense. Uh, actually, see if Cat goes for it. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if she knows. If she gets a checkpoint. I think she might be going for it. Oh, the whisper! Ooh. That's big. That's big. Cause then you get a nice easy. Yeah, yeah. That's huge okay. for Cat. Yeah, very nice. Not as fast as normal hail, hail Mary, excuse me, but way safer and uh, frankly way easier. Ooh, good rope dart there too. I missing that rope dart actually loses a surprising amount of time. Cat having a very good start to this tower. Ooh, that missed rope dart. Ooh, actually, this oh, is sketchy, too. This, this is sketchy. Dude. Oh, no! Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, she's that, alive, she's that's, alive. That's uh, all the time. Yeah, that's... Okay, we're through. That, that's oh, more yeah. time lost than Hail Mary saved. That's so unfortunate. That's one of those rooms where I'll always be extremely careful no matter what, just because I don't want to take that bonk. Yeah. So, so, Ooh, Cat lost a lot of time HP. in that room, but... Oh, no! But, uh, Space Croquette also lost a lot of time in that room to, uh, different uh, room shenanigans. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So... Croquette actually didn't get hit uh, past the minus dart bonk. So he had 5 HP, but then he also got a drop. 
Cat got hit in the Cooney Psycho room, lost an HP, but then got a drop, so she was put back to 3 HP. She unfortunately would have had 4 HP uh, to do the French connection if she felt confident, but unfortunately not, thanks to the uh, the Cooney Psycho room. Yeah. Honestly, so far, the uh, exception of that one wizard, uh, both runners are kind of tearing power right now. Yeah.